Hello and welcome. This is going to be a quick parcel playthrough since the game is so short. I suppose. I can choose which chapter I want. Well, I'm going to have one. Since I'm starting from the beginning. So this is probably going to only be about five episodes long, since it's so short. No! Music player. I do not care about your rules. I don't care. The why did the mug just spontaneously combust? Let up, burst into flame, but explode. Please refrain from the portal will open in three, two, one. Bang. There's still a second left if you was if you were watching that and you sort of seen there's a second left on, on that. And because this game is quite weird, when you jump you move quicker. No, you're not going to fall on me today. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. I.e. the big red button. Easy enough. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Now if you see, I'm a fan of Portal, you can see that my avatar is, um, the, um, what's it called? Companion Cube. I've only played through this game once, by the way, so I haven't played it a lot of times. But luckily, this is going to be the first game that I will play the whole way through. Well, please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect. The aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi rare cases, emancipate from the fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. This game is so random. Here we go. I'm going to steal your portal. Very good. You are now in possession of the aperture science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portal. Yes, but I can only create one portal. have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind again. I'll try and get the um Well done. Remember the aperture bring this with me. To work day is the perfect time to have her tested. <laughs> no security camera. Stupid GLaDOS was big brother. It's weird. Well oh, I stopped now. Loading. Welcome to test chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Thank you. 
I don't know what to do because uh, the first the first couple of um, shut up Gladys I'm talking as I was saying um, at the beginning of Portal 2 they're the same the same test at the beginning of Portal plus the first couple of tests are actually pretty easy so you remember how to do them So this is easy. There's a um, portal. There's a thing down here. Yes, there, there we go. No, you have to ruin everything, you stupid wasted storage cube. Weird. Shut down the sensitivity down. No, I'll leave it on. Stay where you are. There we go. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will you start yet? enhancing the truth in three, two. As part of a required test protocol, I require you to shut up. Oh, by the way, um, John loves this game. He's constantly talking about it. So why has he not got it? That's what I want to know. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject from down here. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. There we go. Now use the aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Man, hurry up. You unsta unstationary scaffold. <laughs> Fire wasn't gonna make it then. Aperture. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Right, so what do I do here? Well, this looks quite hard. I've done it before. Right, um... So up there, if we go in there. And then there. There we go. Take that to floor. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Well, thank you. It's brilliant to know that. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. On my first playthrough, I actually thought it was impossible because I, I, was, I was actually using the wrong method to complete it. If you want to know what I was doing, basically what I was doing was I was putting a portal here and then trying to get the cube through this gap. But it wasn't, wasn't working. So I was doing it wrong. 
The enrichment center apologizes for this clearly broken tech. Oh, it's easy, you just do that. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. There we go. When a valve gods really release a portal free. Momentum. Also, well, to be honest with you, when our valve actually going to release a game that has a free in the title, I've never heard of the number free. Of course, you've heard that many times, haven't you? You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. This music is really weird. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. If I'd have jumped then I would have gone straight into this lift, it would have been very nice. By the way, there are, there are playthroughs uh, on YouTube of this game where people complete it in nine and a half minutes. So, so they would have completed it about two and a half minutes ago. Right now, if it's 12 minutes long so far, I'm going to start watch. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Bam. There we go. And... Just in time. Fire, new one. No! Stupid portal. How dare you! Want new one? Yes, there we go. Bam. Stupid thing. There we go. Where did that button come from? The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in subject hometown here. There we go. Da 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 da. There we go. Oh, we're about, just about to hit 15 minutes as well. So, there we go. Uh, 